Okay. So, good morning, everyone. Successful mothers are not the ones who have never struggled. They are the ones who never give up despite the struggles which is a beautiful quote from Sharon James. And on that, I welcome you to the Motherhood Superpower Alumni Talk, an initiative of the Office of Development and Alumni Affairs at Notre Dame University, Louise. My name is Nisreen Sfer, I'm the director of the office, and I warmly thank alumna Yasmina Aoudé for taking part of Alumni Talks and sharing her experience and expertise with fellow alumni, students, and friends of NDU whom are joining us this morning. But first, allow me to introduce Yasmina. Yasmina Ali is a graduate of 2002 in advertising and marketing. She is an entrepreneur, a marketeer with over 15 years of experience of major uh, international brands management, and a mother of three. As a serial entrepreneur, Yasmina creates initiatives for a special cause, which is women empowerment. She is the founder of the Super Mama Lebanon blog uh, that she launched in 2014, today known as Super Mama Arabia, which is the largest online community created to empower, inspire, and celebrate women, and among the top 10 mama blogs in the Middle East. In addition to that, she also founded El Fiesta, El Fiesta event and Sparks Factory Learning Center. Uh, despite all of these uh, projects, Yasmina continues to wear her marketing hat as a consultant and is a certified life coach from the International Coaching Federation. She will share with us in a few useful tips to, talk through, to walk through the pathway of marriage, motherhood, its struggles, and how we can all survive that with maybe a bigger smile. So with no further ado, Yasmina, thanks a lot for being with us this morning, and this e-floor is yours. Thank you so much for that beautiful intro. I'm just excited to hear you. Okay, I'm going 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 to hear you. Okay, I'm my the the talk is about um, well, the super mamahood and it's it's great uh, it's a bit of introduction for moms to be and moms مثل كنا عم نحكي مع هلا قبل يعني moms with kids because in the end it's all about empowering you so that's where it all starts that's where you all um, begin your journey okay so uh, should we begin with the presentation okay. uh, yeah yeah. Okay. In the meantime, uh, I just want to recap on one thing. We're going mm -hmm. to leave the questions till the end for those who are joining us now. And uh, we will pass them on to Yasmina. You can either open your mic and your camera to ask the question, or you can also write them on the uh, chat uh, part, which is on your screen. So Yasmina, please. اوكي امم بس اذا حدا رح احكي شوي بالعربي وشوي بالانجليزي حدا عنده مشكله جست جست نسينا نسال هالسؤال بس انا عم جونا ميكس ا ليتل بيت على لبنان يعني امم سو مثل ما نسرين سيد ماي بلوج از كولد امم سوبر ماما ناو اريبيا بيكوز ام ام كفرينج ذا ميدل ايست اند اي ريمبر وين اي فيرست ستارتد سوبر ماما ذا فيرست A reaction that I got was you're putting too much pressure on us. Uh, we do. We are not superheroes. Uh, we cannot be perfect. I just want to always explain and always remind moms: uh, super, super mama is not the perfect mom. We are not perfect. We do not have to be perfect, and we should never, ever, ever, ever seek perfection. Uh, this is putting too much pressure on you. It's putting too much pressure on your children and your family. Uh, we make mistakes, but we acknowledge them and keep going. But that's the superpower that we have. Um, so as every uh, fairy tale started, Anna, for Anna personally, uh, I grew up on watching Cinderella, Disney, uh, and I believe that once I get married, uh, you know, once upon a time, and they lived happily ever after, um, this is all you're focusing on, is that happily ever after. And... Um, 
just bluntly, that doesn't exist. You can be stable, emotionally stable, physically stable, and uh, acknowledge yourself and love yourself every single day, try harder. And that's what life is all about. So once upon a time, I got married. And um, after a couple of uh, months, I decided to have a baby. So that, that's where my uh, super mommyhood journey began. Uh, and you always hear uh, how beautiful pregnancy is, or you watch it in movies. The hello, wow, she's she's glowing. But ma bechabrukon an el bloating, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, mood swings, increased urination, weight gain. Come in, okay, bad fi constipation. All of these ma hala bechabrna. Ma bechamso. But the thing is that best these things and. You are doing all of this and a baby is growing inside of you. Minna lahala makes you a super mama. This is a superpower. And we forget to acknowledge how how beautiful we are and how how strong we are and how resilient our body is. And this is something we need to acknowledge and understand. So uh Daiman Bahki Fia in no it's um it's a tough journey. But you're a superhero. Yani, you don't have that cape and you're still not flying over those buildings. But if this is not a superpower, I don't know what is. Uh, and then you have this beautiful superpower that, uh, yani, Anna started my with three kids. I'm a mom of three. And my pregnancies were extremely yani, difficult. bloating. But the moment I hold my baby, yani, I forget them. I just you know, that pain, everything. And I'm sure if there's any moms listening today, they can share with us and know exactly what well, once that that magical exactly. feeling, you forget everything once your newborn is in your arms. And, and to, to really understand that you're looking at this baby and understanding that, um, that there, you're, you're about to embark on a beautiful journey, okay? كمان برجع شو عم حط لكم صور happy moms وكل شيء and we do have very beautiful happy moments and they're not always مثل برجع بقول ما في شيء happily ever after but you you are committed to watching these humans grow you are committed to uh, embarking on this journey with its ups and downs يعني أنا دائما uh, if anyone follows me on Instagram or any of my blogs uh, دائما بحكي عشان الشغلة اسمها forward always هي الخبرية إنه الطريق and it's not always straight. Uh, we have ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. Once it's a straight line, we all know what that means. So in mm. life, that's what it's all about. So you need to keep going and it's a beautiful journey with its own ups and downs, but you need to understand and acknowledge what a beautiful magic superpower you have. Um, hey, recently I came up, I, I came across this and I posted it. Um, you know, with, with everything that's happening in the world, be it COVID, be it Black Lives Matter, um, all, all of this. So let's start addressing these situations at home. And this is where we we talk about the importance of motherhood, the importance of parenthood. moms, but it takes two to tango. Uh, you did not get pregnant on your own, um, and even even uh, you know what, no matter what your situation is, you should address it as a family, as a home. So we need to start addressing it at home, teaching our kids um, how to continue, how to how to be human, and then we can start changing the world. So this is so important. The fact that. Uh, you are responsible for the future of the planet. Can you imagine? In the background, she's like jumping. Uh, this this little baby and and her brother and sister are going to change the world. We don't. Yeah, your children are going to change the world. You can change the world by by changing yourself, by by changing your mindset and understanding your superpower. So I do believe that you are all all beautiful women. Uh, I, I'm not sure if, if we have any men, but guys, we need your support. Come in if you're listening. Definitely, definitely, uh, we are all part of this together. But uh, at the we tend to forget ourselves. How can you, as a super mama, as a superhuman, 
uh, forget yourself. And then we, we, because this is what happens in motherhood. كل الوقت عم نفكر إيه بدي ربي هالولاد بدي رح يوصلوا بدي هون يتعلموا go to the do their activities. Are they did they feed? Did, you know, did they eat their breakfast well? Did they eat their lunch well? Uh, Mama, I want to ask you, did you eat your breakfast today? Uh, did you take time for yourself? And then we start asking so many self-destructive things. Am I a good mother? Uh, you are a great mother. And the fact that you ask that. It makes you a great mother that you're actually asking that. Am I still beautiful? Uh, my first baby, I gained 30 kilos. And honestly, uh, with every baby, I gained more and more. And I just looked at my in the mirror sometimes. I'd be like, oh, I really hate myself. I look so ugly. But then you have to force yourself to change your mindset. And to keep going. So I, I so هون عم بحكي عن social media. خاصة نحن هلا the entire world has become digital. The entire world has become digital, and we're seeing so many influencers showing just the perfect side of life, showing oh yes, يعني dinner is a, is a three course menu, five course menu. All I could make today was and I'm just telling them she frozen burgers. I'm telling them fries. Okay, but their own yani understanding in the in the long run you are doing a great job and not defining yourself on those specific uh, people don't don't compare yourself hay shagli dayman dayman bahki fiya and and the list goes on yani hala i i'm sure iza hala bada nahki a couple of questions and a couple of examples you're going to share with me so many But it's really important that self-care is not selfish. يعني كنا عم نحكي during quarantine. I I posted a lot of posts about taking care of yourself during quarantine. Use this time. تخبركن أنا during the the quarantine وبعدنا يعني هلا in semi quarantine بعد ما خلصنا. But understanding that أنا هلا بالبيت وبلا عم بنط فوق راسي وميت شغلة بس بدي خصص لو ساعة لإلي أه ساعة بالنهار one hour per day to take care of myself because simply to be able to be to love and be loved you should start loving yourself uh, I think that's the most important thing we need to understand أنا كيف أدرى أم حب هالولاد حب 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 عائلتي teach my children how to love إذا أنا شخصيا I don't love myself. Um, and uh, here comes you know, parts where you need to work on uh, uh, positive reinforcement and working on yourself, taking that time for yourself. I'm going to share with you a few tips that I personally, on a personal level, I still do it. I recently I'm a certified life coach, but I, I actually ask for help. And I'm going to share with you a few uh, tips. Okay, mom is to talk to someone. This is uh, this is one of the best tips I can share with any of my friends, my families, or even my clients. Uh, life is not easy, and we we just keep filling up bags and bags. You 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 know of all of your experiences, يعني things that you passed through as a child. بيقولوا في أوقات بيقولوا إنه don't blame your parents because your parents are victims of their parents. So what they threw onto you over the years, over the generations, but then managed to start unpacking. But now we self-awareness, and Anna, I need to unpack my luggage to be able to let go of things. And here, they want no. A kid, I do believe that you need a good support system of friends, of uh, of family, etc. But I also do believe that you need someone unbiased to help you unpack. So uh, breaking all taboos. Um, I go to therapy. Uh, I, um, as a life coach, have my own life coach uh, the, to help me out. So you need to unpack. And the importance of unpacking is essential for you to start. So that's why I put it as number one. And um, the second part is about mindset. Um, yes, I can talk about the example in today. And we just made them, fed them junk food. And it's okay because you need to balance out your life. But at the same time, when you choose to eat healthy and live healthy, 
it changes your entire mindset. So choosing that, making a plan. There's so many, it's all can make it a time management. Uh, managing and yani understanding that uh, if you're if you're working if you're a working mom a full-time working mom I, as I was before I left uh, I shifted my career um, to be at home uh, I would plan ahead uh, there are so many things you can do you can ask for help I always uh, uh, say that ask get get uh, you know uh, or ask ask your husband to cook uh, cook for the day or have something frozen already, but choosing, in Anna, okay, I plan, I am going to eat healthy and I am going to live healthy. And it's all about balance. And we had fun, we enjoyed life, Akid, go for it. But you can also learn how to balance. And that's something very essential. And for the mom that always taking care of everyone. I want you to remember to take care of yourself and go get pampered. Uh, you, are, you are the queen of the house. Let's go back to our once upon a time, the princess married the prince and and okay, but you are the queen. So remember, remember your superpower. Remember, it's a, just allocate a budget. What I'm not allocate a budget. I'm not a budget. And no, find, find that budget. If not, um, there are so many other solutions, but you take care of everyone in the house. I need you just once a week, once a month, take care of yourself and let go of any guilt. Uh, it's very important. Um, my fourth tip is communicate. So you can never underestimate how much children understand or husbands for that matter. <laughs> Um, and it's, it really helped in my marriage and in my relationship. It's called um, Women are from Venus and Men are from Mars. And I truly believe uh, that, uh, that we are both uh, aliens from different planets <laughs> because no two people think the same. The way you see a situation, you are seeing it in your own perspective with your own past histories, with your own baggage from the back you know, that you've, you've accumulated and you're working on. And while your, your children and your husband, for that matter, are seeing it in a different way. Yeah, and I'm talking, yes, I'm about motherhood, but I'm also talking about relationships, relationships in the home that once you, you're able to open the lines of communication between you and all the members of your family, uh, and it, it, the whole house changes, the whole, the whole uh, perspective of the house, the whole mood of the house. And this is something very important that we can never forget. So talk about your feelings, communicate, find that way, take, take a time out. We always, uh, and sometimes uh, time out, when we're, um, when we're disciplining children, some people are for, and uh, some people are against giving timeouts for children. For me, I believe, uh, I, I believe it's important because I like to give myself a time out for me to understand. And the kids are like throwing everything around. And uh, do they know that I am upset about this? Do they know how it's affecting me? I don't think so because I'm not telling them. I'm not telling. Uh, but this is a fine line between putting them on a guilt trip we're actually uh, communicating. So you have that superpower to balance and talk about your feelings. We really, really have to talk to each other. Empower yourself, empower yourself, empower yourself. My whole platform is called, our, our mantra is empower, inspire and celebrate. So the first thing you need is to, once you feel that you are um, confident, once you feel that you are strong enough to face anything, it gives you the confidence to keep going. It makes you uh, feel you have um, the slayh, the weapons, to face any challenge. So education uh, is the most powerful tool to change the world, and it truly is, and it's the most powerful tool to change you. 
um, get, uh, exactly. Welcome to the, the digital age. Learn a new skill, a new language, whatever your heart desires. Never stop learning and growing. Uh, during the quarantine, uh, because we're in the digital age, and I'm a marketeer, but I uh, uh, technically left the workforce in 2014. So all this digital, uh, the digital arena for me is completely um, uh, new. So what I did was uh, one hour a day. I found a digital uh, certification online on Google. Uh, for free and I did it and now I feel confident when I'm, I go to new meetings and uh, I'm with the to, with people that I'm discussing uh, about uh, but that's in, in my field so there's so many things you can do you can you can learn to knit online you can there's so many things that painting um, building uh, even uh, mobile app development if we want to go into the digital age it's now available for all ages so everything is available. You just have to be convinced that you deserve more, that you should have more, and that you will accomplish more. Uh, one of the, the very mo important things that, you know, uh, you need to be aware of. Uh, as I was saying before, you did not create the baby on your own. So your husband has the same equal part in creating the tiny little humans. Ahon Hatted Biology 101, because we know that. Uh, you did not come, uh, you know, it's not a one-man show. Um, yes, as super moms, we have more empathy. We have more understanding. Our bodies are more resilient. We can go into all of these things. But in the end, there's a certain part of responsibility that we do need to involve and it's good for the kids it's so important for the kids to get dads involved um it's important for the kids and supportive for him for dads to be feel that they are actually because it does take a super dad he needs to he is there and he's providing but he also needs to have that connection so give them the time give them that that space to help you uh, grandmothers aunties anyone else you know because Sometimes you just need that person to help you step out of the circle or the bubble or the, of the chaos of your daily life and just help you um, fix it all out. And yeah, just to um, give yourself a time out and ask for help. So this is what it's all about. I, I This is my favorite part. It's... Um, you know, it's building their self-esteem. So um, if but if then we go again to loving yourself before filling your, your home and heart with love. There's so much pain and hatred once you simply step out the door. Uh, you need to find a way to create that safe and calming space in your home. And most importantly, in your heart for you and your family. Uh, we make an effort to say I love you numerous times a day. You know, um, it's even though sometimes you just say it, but... Um, without, you know, but just hearing that and understanding your, your kids, understanding that and that all the entire stress of the entire stress of uh, of just living in modern society uh, is exhausting in itself. But when you have the ability in these four walls of your home to create a calming space, you would be able to uh, to change the world, uh, and and most importantly, most importantly for your kids. When we're talking about um, self esteem, uh, I have a, I have an entire workshop about building self esteem for kids. It's very important that you need to make that that bubble uh, that is so 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 strong that it's gonna make you know it's not gonna be punched in easily. Uh, and once they go out into the world and you, they face other p people and the children that do not have the same uh, love in their heart to be able to uh, not be affected by them. It's definitely the importance of saying just simply I love you whenever you can because they need that reminder. upset with me? You would be surprised the amount of uh, times that you can hear kids not being able to understand 
شو عم بيصير حواليهم and you'll be surprised how much they really do understand um, and uh, I'm gonna leave my last point well, because I want to open the floor for any Q&As because I want to have a discussion uh, please don't aim to be perfect you know aim actually to be a great mom that is emotionally and physically happy and it all starts with you are you happy mama that, that's all I can ask uh, if you're not okay, what's making you sad and how how can you change it? Every day, and it's a mindset. Today I choose to be happy. Today I'm شوف كل الخراب حوالي but I choose to be optimistic. Uh, today, um, uh, I found out something that. Uh, that happened with my family or my children or whatever, but I choose to keep going. Um, so that's uh, that's simply uh, my eight tips. But if uh, everyone has their things and we're leading into nearer to lunchtime, but definitely um, emotionally and physically happy is what it's all about and choosing that. And I want to thank you for your time. And I just want to wish everyone good luck because we really, really need it. And, um, and that's it. <laughs> thank you. I think, Tafe, uh, it's, it's beautiful to also as children understand and use those tips to understand our parents who are also going through a zillion thing. I'm talking from maybe an angle of uh, not a super mom yet and uh, not a married uh, lady. But you uh, know, it was really, really um, like eye opener, I, I believe, for others to be able to give and to absorb all of what is going on. نحنا كمان as children. We really need to open up a channel with our super mom to be a super mom and went through wall, wars and all of that. Um, until we get uh, questions, Kimberly, is Eric Shway Yasmina about uh, the big shift in, in your career, especially that now uh, maybe um, many super moms might uh, willingly or unwillingly become uh, stay-at-home uh, moms. So how was your experience? How, did, uh, how was that shift from the corporate world of being a marketeer of uh, really uh, a big FMCG international brands into becoming uh, or thinking uh, of the entrepreneurship uh, track of Heke talking about the big word of agility and resilience uh, lately. Uh, what would you uh, tell other uh, females and moms about that experience of yours? And I'll shift to the question that I'm going to ask you. Yeah. I remember when I left work in 2014, I um, was handling uh, multi-million dollar brands um, I had uh, numerous uh, team under me. I was working, etc., and I was a mom of two. Uh, at that time, uh, I felt, or maybe society let me feel, that motherhood was the end of the road. Yeah, I'm a mom now. Uh, I'll examples. And if you have a kid, you can do it at five. Okay, five. Oh, you have to leave at five. You're a mom, uh, you know. And that that negative talk became my uh, negative self talk. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get any help. I think it's time to uh, retire. Um, and uh, that was it for me. So I I re- retired. Uh, okay, at the bit, my kids are going to school, they have, and I was just sitting at home. Okay, to must go to the But it was just so said, okay, now what? Yeah, it becomes then, itchy. <laughs> eh, it does, and you know, because the best to fuck it, and no, ah, خلاص انتهى الطريق لإلي يعني إنه this is it. Ah, oh, I'm a mom. خلاص. طب no, it's this is not the end, and I refuse refuse to be the end. It it's a shift. You're shifting completely to something new. You have more responsibilities mm. adapting to your kids, adapting to the home life, adapting to your home life. But this huge shift should be 
empowering to you. Um, yes, the negative self-talk led me to here, but now that I'm here and now that I've seen or, or acknowledged my own powers, this is why the platform was created. And I believe this is was my calling to, 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 to open roads to moms. Work your nine to five job, go for your career. You are not a bad mom. Uh, unload that guilt that everyone, uh, the society is bla- is putting on you, and 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 regulate yourself. You know, this is what we talk about. And you work from seven to five, but we understand you have to do it for you, for your family, and at the same time, have that time for your kids. We talk about it. You know, it's quality and quantity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the thing is, once you have a mindset that I'm going to make time for my kids and this is what we're going to do together, مش ضروري نضلنا حامين هالقلت هال هال إذا بدكم على ظهرنا وماشيين. So uh, هاي هي يعني. And what triggered the entrepreneurship بهذيك الفترة؟ يعني you were okay, you became a, a mom at home. You had all the duties and responsibilities. You had the less part of a uh, professional uh, burden, unless maybe you were consulting at the time. But just to let you know, okay, after the itchiness, the fear keeps on. Kermel, can you say, okay, I want to do I want to stay in the market and on the market for a reason. Of course, for your self-fulfillment. Let know. I believe that all of us, once we are working for more than five years, so it, it mm. becomes a routine and it becomes who you are. So when you decided to continue that professional life, um, how did you think of the Super Mama blog? Uh, uh, mothers who would like to uh, create something who needs uh, now even economically or the current situation to support their family with an additional uh, uh, income. So uh, what was that trigger and how did you think of uh, the super mama and what came afterwards? Like it, it, it all comes together because you follow your passion. You need to follow what you love. You need to follow what you for the money. Lano, okay, you'll get the money, hopefully, uh, but it's, you won't be self-satisfied. So if you can do something that you love and you actually acknowledge what you love, it's a lot of fun. So it's a lot of fun. I started with Super Mama, you go back to my first blog, I opened the website and there's no fun. How did I get here? Why? Why do I feel so bad about myself? Why do I hate myself? Um, okay, there's something there. We need to grow. We need to keep going. So Super Mama grew. Um, I created Minbada uh, El Fiesta, which is a women's empowerment event, which which in its name is El, Her and Fiesta celebration. So I'm celebrating her because, you know, we celebrate everyone in the family and you forget to celebrate yourself. So, mm-hmm. um, so it just came along. So for anyone who wants to follow the entrepreneurship train, um, let it you know, empower yourself and um, Definitely, definitely, uh, the the road is very hard. يعني مش إنه أوكي أنا هلا بالكون ألف يستا واو you know uh, you can watch the videos you can see how how successful it's become. بس ترى ديني توصلت لهون يعني you need to work at it you need to be committed to it you need to to have that passion for it. Uh, that's very important when it comes to entrepreneurship. Um, and sometimes so, you compromise. Yeah, uh, yani, that's something that you need to work on. But it's okay to let go a little bit of the duties uh, at home, and this is where the super dads come along in order mm. to fulfill maybe the others. Mabak, if, if this is uh, something that you would take it, give a push for. Definitely, I you know, and and um, I'm trying as much as I can to to, uh, to be it via social media, via on my online platform, via on every message that I do. 
that dads are there and you need them to help. And as you have supported them in their dreams, um, then what's your dream? I need you to follow mm. your dream. I need you to acknowledge what you you love. Uh, and, and, and this is, I, I've, ha- I've had this uh, conversation with many moms that would tell me, I don't dream to be an entrepreneur. I don't dream to be, uh, open my, my own company. I want to uh, take care of the kids. Go do that. If that's what you want, that's great. I'm not uh, you know, undermining anything. But at the same time, once you're at home, work on yourself. Empower yourself. Okay, it's not a new skill. Um, learn a new language. It's fun. You know, add a little bit. Just keep on working on yourself. Of course. Of course. And this is why maybe also we, we, we thought of uh, alumni talks. To support the upskilling of soft and uh, uh, hard skills for alumni. Mm. Uh, Rula Judy uh, wrote on the wall, Maf Rula, would you like Andrea to ask a question yourself if you want to? Please unmute your mic and uh, go ahead. Otherwise, I can uh, ask it on your behalf. Okay, I will ask. Uh, so I'm going to read Yasmina Shokatavit. Um, okay, yes, it's okay if I do. <laughs> um, uh, Rula is saying, yes, Mina, great tips indeed. I left my job to be uh, a stay at home mom. Stay at home, stay at home mom, S A H M, Sahem, which is nice, Sahem, with all the power of it, uh, since my baby was born. And now she is 15 months old, and I decided to start a new career and started PhD too. I'm concerned on, on how first I will leave my baby, and second, on if I will be able to keep taking care of her at the same level. I won't lie, I'm so anxious. Any advice? Um, I do it. <laughs> Hey, uh, Leke, uh, you're, you're, you're shifting, you're, you're recreating yourself, you're reinventing yourself, and that's a great thing, and it's an amazing uh, thing that you're doing. Um, you need to adapt into Yeha to the new, uh, to the new dynamics that you're about to embark on. So then, or can a stay-at-home mom? Can I see all the time? And even though that's a great thing, uh, children need to step away from their parents. <laughs> they need to learn social skills. They need to be put. I'm about to have to tell you, Bigar Duri. Anna, if the daycare is uh, is up to par, if it's uh, if it's uh, good for you, please put them in daycare because. They need so many other skills like sharing, uh, so basic social skills. Um, uh, she has more authority, she be head, and it helps them to get become more independent. So just as you are walking away, and not walking, but uh, paving a path for yourself, this little baby needs to pave their own path. So they need to have their own friends, make their own memories, and then join you again once you come home at night. So don't feel anxious. Adapt. for the parents and the kids. And this is exactly what I'm going to ask you to do, is adapt both of you to the new dynamics that you're about to embark on. Okay. It's uh, an early uh, adaptation. Uh, yeah. We are not meant to live alone. And the earliest you start socializing, uh, the earliest that you acquire your social skills. But it may be the personality, even more. I've seen from the kids around me, once they are in daycare, I feel that, okay, they start to act outside of the inner circle. Uh, and they they become a little bit more explorers, يمكن. Definitely, they have some. You know, they start. They have to fight for their toy from the other kids. But we need resilient children, and children are extremely resilient. you. It might take you more time to adapt of being away from her than. Um, than your baby um so uh, so this is it okay thank you any other questions ladies no but i'm loving the the question thank you guys so much uh, the the feedback thank you so much 
Yeah. Yeah, it was well, really it, inspiring, I think, and uh, useful, مثل ما قلت لك, across boards, يعني. Uh, and I hope that we're going to uh, let the uh, other half of uh, each one of you know more of how they can support and also understand. I was happy, by the way, at Tilly I saw that we had uh, a gentleman who registered for the talk. And uh, I was like, oh, hey, okay, hoping that uh, he would uh, join. Um, what, what would you advise, Yasmina, uh, uh, the fathers or the husbands? Uh, how to deal with with uh, all the heartbeat of the uh, marriage life? Any specific tips for our other half? Um, honestly, uh, it, it it takes two to tango. So um, so it's very important for exactly how you're coping with it. They need to understand, but birjab all and not being sexist in any way. But once. As women, we are known to be more resilient. We uh, we are the anchor. Uh, so once you can anchor yourself and create that safety in that home, and it's all in your mindset and choosing how your home will be, how the routine will be. It it really aids your um your 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 entire family, not just the husband, but definitely communicate with them. Rabina from the pa- the luggage of our parents, uh, mm-hmm. our husbands grew. Uh, it's uh, blasphemy as a whole. This is how they grew up. How can you blame them? And no, uh, this is this, we're in a new society that you know everything's changing. Uh, communicate, talk about it. Let it out. Let the passion out and. But in the end, come back to each other. Find that safe place. Of course, because at the end of the day, what matters is is love and the will to continue as a couple uh, yes. with all the challenges. So, a key love, communication, I believe. Step. And communication is very important, Kamen, across any relationship. And can it uh, for a couple, for uh, a colleague, uh, across board. And the uh, empathy. empathy. Empathy and towards Hanna and empathy towards the others as well. Uh, yeah. uh, em- Please. Uh, empathy is key and, and empathy is learned. Um, yeah, and we, we, we train ourselves and our children to empathize. Um, and it starts with communicating your feelings. And you're always smiling and etc. You know, it's uh, uh, Hala, I think, yes, very inspiring. It would be, would be great to, to keep in touch as it's a learning experience as ladies a month of challenges on a daily basis, and it would be great to learn from each other. Um, Hala, feel free. We have a Facebook group. Um, we have a Facebook support group, a small Super Women Beirut group. Um, if you have anything you want to talk about, uh, moms share their businesses, uh, their their struggles. Uh, feel free to join it on Facebook. Um, and um, hopefully, when we start our normal events, uh, we will have we'll go back to having our mini events of moms and discussion groups, etc. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, uh, in addition to that, if anyone, and because we also are recording, if anyone would like to get hold of uh, Yasmina, uh, please feel free to email us at uh, alumni.talks at ndu.edu.lb, and we'll be more than happy to link and connect you with her. Okay. Yay. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> And uh, thank you as well. And I thank everyone uh, for joining us this morning. It's been uh, inspiring. Uh, some, I, I think someone was saying uh, that you're an inspiration to others. And indeed you are, Yasmina, with uh, a very strong uh, uh, dose of resilience in you, uh, knowing all what you went through. And uh, you still have exactly that big smile on your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nisri. So, Thank you, everyone, and I wish everyone a great weekend. Now, if there's a hada and a bad question, otherwise, uh, okay. we'll just uh, call it for uh, a close. Yeah, no, thanks so much, okay. everybody.
Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.